the box is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out, being able to see the unseen, being able to understand the messages that are coming your way to help you go along your journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if you're just dropping a couple of lines to give me the positive feedback on the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, find the video very informative or even just give you good vibes you would love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, you know, especially if they're, you know, uh, having questions or needing confirmation or validation as toward their life source or life path or even their spiritual journey. Go ahead and share, and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I'm just so glad I can be a part of the puzzle of your journey. And I hope you're able to re resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, meditation music I'm listening to, let me turn it up just a little bit. Um, it's called 11 Hours of Booster Serotonin, Dopamine, Endorphin, Released Binarial Beats, Isochronic Tones. I haven't listened to this in about a month, but I really love it because it's a very powerful meditation. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Oka is detaching from our old life because the new one is waiting on you. It really is. If you're starting to feel, if you take a look back at your life, you know, even the circle that you actually had everything is completely changed you know if you start feeling you know you're not carrying the same interest as you used to in certain things or you feel detached from your life you are because you're elevating you're ascending you know towards your higher self getting to know your higher self is truly a blessing um being able to see that the old life wasn't meant for you you had to go down that road for you to actually get to where you that you know source and creator universe god you know all the power power uh, higher powers that be it sent you towards um you're, you're starting to be more conscious of the things that are around you how we connect how we can relate how we resonate um it's a beautiful blessing even though it's not you know all sunshine and roses you're not skipping through daisies on a beautiful hill but you know it's really taking you to places that you know it's a it's an amazing trip to be able to go through even though it can be a crazy ride trust me i know not every day is going to be positive for you but you can see the blessing through the stages of the things that you know was sent towards your way because like i was saying in my last video you know it is like not every day i can be positive but when i actually take the emotion out of the situation that i'm going through it can become a blessing instead of a curse because you know when you first start this journey it's really hard it really is and it, it was just like not knowing where to look not knowing what you actually are you, you probably knew you were always an empath you know but knowing all the multi gifts that has been placed upon you it's like keep on peeling new layers back of an onion of your life opening up new doors that you need to to acknowledge yourself on you know having source and universe and all the powers that be guide you towards certain areas that you need to look on you know because it's like i've said before you know but i know a lot of people are new in my channel um i didn't have that guidance that i'm doing right now that's why i love to do what i do um being able to help people because it's just like when you go through spiritual awakenings all these new things are starting to come at you it's just like you're being the new kid in school <laughs> you yeah you were used to going to another school but when you know packed up and moved somewhere else you're you're gonna get adjusted to how the rules are you're you're having to take up studies you probably never studied before it might make you nervous because you don't know what to expect that's how our life is especially after this you know spiritual awakening learning all these new things about ourselves and you i mean it makes you sit back and actually think like well dang i thought i knew myself and you really didn't 
You know, when you would say nobody knew you better than you, but that's a lie <laughs> because you would have knew all these things that there has been placed upon your life, the contract that you had signed in your life that um, you were expecting all these things. You know, knowing that you are going to be that person that, you know, knocks down everything. You're pushing that envelope for all generations in our path. Being able to be that elite empath that are going to be changing the world and how they view things. You know, and it's just a blessing to be a part of that. Being able to be that missing puzzle of making you just like doubt everything that has came across your path years before you even gone through your spiritual awakening because it's like all these new things that I'm learning about myself you know it's been amazing it's been a shocker um knowing all these hats that I wear on these spirit on my spiritual journey I'm like you know my, like my mom always said I was very special but and you know I was that daggone special you know being able to do all the things that I do you know being able to love to be the part of somebody's journey helping to assist them, being a part of that blessing that they've been urging and yearning for for so long, you know, because it's just like we had the hardest life, like, you know, everybody has a hard life, but it's just how we go about it. Hey, Ocas, we go, we go around stuff <laughs> a whole different level because it's like, you know, some people can just drop it and say, okay, I'm done with it. I'm healed. I'm, you know, I'll let it go. Not us as Hey, Ocas. <laughs> not as no not the way we do things we go things a roundabout way you know go through the hardship just learning why we had to go through this what people we were really dealing with you know becoming looking at people we've seen for so many years all, all of a sudden start becoming strangers to us you know, I was telling my soul sister yesterday, you know, how sometimes we can sit up here and go through things, and especially when it comes to situations that were very toxic. You know, I used to tell myself, how, how can I be so stupid and not see these things? You weren't supposed to see these things. You weren't supposed to see them at that time. You had to go through that journey, go through that life path of those different situations that have been placed upon you and then start seeing all the red flags has obviously been there but you know as us being impasse we choose to try to see the goodness in everything no matter how bad it seems to be we're not paying attention to all those things or if we are we're giving excuses for them but being able to really see it you know i was telling my sister yesterday you know i've cut so many people out of my life you know when i felt like you know it was an 80-20 situation. You know, I was being more supportive and force going for other people that weren't doing the same for me. And, you know, I had to find my worth to allow myself, why am I going to be somebody's doormat? Hell no. I'm, you know, I'm moving on to a different life and this is not what my life consists of. You know, either we're going to be together you or together or you're going to be by yourself and going about your journey. You know, let me be the part of that, that journey you need to be in to make you look at different things things a lot differently but being able to know your worth and know that you know when's enough going to be enough not want to detach your life from wanting to detach your life from your old life because the things that we used to do how we used to carry on how we used to um the things we used to project the things we used to soak in the things how we respond to it and how we reply to it all these different things are all out the door they're all out the door because when you walk out that matrix and you start seeing everything for what it is and how everything connects it makes you like is this what you know because it'll make you look at other people like you're not trying to be judgmental but it's like god dog your life is so shallow <laughs> and i've seen things like that and i start cutting folks off left and right left and right and i hated doing that you know and it's the hardest thing especially if you love and care for people you have to be able to step back and let it go. And if it was worth it, even when it comes to family members, it's the suckiest thing you have to do. Because there's a lot, even though you love them, but they're, they're just not seeing you in that light because how they're hurting themselves, they tend to want to hurt you as well. And it's just like, maybe you have to step back and, you know, take yourself out there equation for you to be able to say, okay, you didn't appreciate my, my presence. So why don't you appreciate my absence? You know, and let them be able to work itself out. You know, when you step back and do things and stop being able to, you know, control every situation and allow the powers that be, you know, uh, work itself, work for itself, being able to allow them to rearrange certain things for it to be able to be in your favor. 
you know, is a beautiful blessing because there's a lot of times we, were, you know, we get frustrated because we're trying to do everything on our own, trying to figure it out all by ourselves. That's the reason why they have surrendered. When you surrender everything to the powers that be and say, you know what, I tried it my way. It is not working, Billy. It's not working. So you allow the universe to be able to step in and say, hey, do your magic. <laughs> because what I was doing is not working. I keep running to this brick wall. And that's what universe allows you to do. They'll keep on allowing you to hit that brick wall, hit that brick wall, making these mistakes, make this failures, make that set that, you know, you know, failing at these things for you to be able to say, okay, we've been trying to send you signs this whole time you know, to let you know we have your back. Don't worry. Don't try to control things. Surrender it to us so we can replace that with strength and power. So when you, you know, surrender yourself and, you know, you, you see that your old life is not working for you like it was. Your old jobs are not working like it was. Because after that spiritual awakening, you start looking at everything like, why the hell was I here in the first place? Why? Because it's like, well, hey, Ogus, I guarantee you, every job you have went through, you have always bumped heads with somebody, either because you didn't like being controlled, you never like being labeled, and you're trying to understand these rules and knowing these aren't rules, these are things that you're just trying to control me as. You know, and when I started seeing that, I got most of the jobs either I walked off from or I got fired or I done beat somebody ass. It was one of the two, one of the three, actually. But when you start seeing these things, you know, being able to you know especially like i said before i'm a taurus my birthday is like on the 19th and i'm the type of person i always clap that or i always got to have the last word or you ain't about to talk to me like that you know or you know i don't like being put in a corner because you know i got sunset uh moon rising of leo and scorpio and gemini capricorn all these things wrapped together that that's uh Ooh, that's like C4, <laughs> wrapped all in one. You know, I I have a ten. You know, sometimes I have to be like some response don't need a response at all. And then if somebody start questioning my existence, existence as well as my my, uh, you know, trying to insult me, you know, insult my intelligence. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what it is. No harm done. You know, I, I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and that's it. That is it. I'm done. You know, so it's a blessing to be able to do these things, being able to see things for what they truly are, raw and uncut. Because it's like my old life was, I used to smoke, I used to drink. Being in the clubs, you know, smoking weed, you know, dealing with those things and being, you know, using those things as an escape. Now it's like if somebody asked me to go to the club and I'm like, I don't drink anymore. I don't smoke weed. What am I going to be there for? A designated driver? And that's not going to be fun for me. <laughs> you know, because I'm watching everybody else get drunk. I'm actually every, seeing everybody get turned up when I can get turned up at home. You know, I don't like being around large groups. You know, um, it, it's just crazy. Last time I went to a club, and it, it, it's a different club, but it was into a Mason, Masonic Lodge. All of a sudden, I went left out that club. It was like somebody put a roofie in my drink, even though that never happened. But it was so much darkness consumed up in that club, and I don't know what kind of masonic things was going on in that, you know, in that place during the daytime. But it was a lot of darkness. All of a sudden, I had to leave the club, and I'm sitting up here throwing up smoke, black smoke. And I was like, "What is going on?" You know, and they were like, "Girl, are you throwing up all?" I mean, it looked like something from a supernatural movie. Like I just took in all darkness, and all of a sudden, it just projected out of me. And after that, I never went to any more clubs. After that, I said, "Me and clubs do not work out." Anytime it's supposed to be for me going out with my friends, either my my dress tore, my shoes got messed up, broke the heel, or broke the strap. It's always something bad that happens. So it's just like, hey, either I'm not supposed to be hanging with you, or I'm not supposed to be in that certain place. So it's just like when I see that old life and I just don't do the old things that I used to do anymore, even though it's a blessing, you know, there's a time I miss marijuana. Yes, I do, because that was my great escape. Knowing, you know, it's just take me away from that, the pain, the the frustration, you know, the stress. But now it's like, you know, I can be proud of myself because I'm taking all these things head on sober. You know, I don't knock anybody else to do it. What's for you is for you, but it ain't got to be for me. You know, who am I to judge? I used to smoke. I used to pop pills, you know, just to get 
rid of all the voices, all the energy that I was soaking up. That was a lot to deal with, especially if you didn't know what was wrong with you. I did not know what was wrong with me. So I had to go ahead and deal with it how I had to deal with it. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Uh, much love to you. Like and subscribe. Let me know. Drop me a line. I would love to give you a shout out on my next video. Uh, like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Share. And I will see you on my next video because this is already 15 minutes long. So it might take two days just for it to download or upload. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wise.